Hello everybody, welcome to the channel. It is my pleasure to bring you my unboxing for the SH Figure Arts Izu from Kamen Rider Zero One. Once they announced her, I was like, holy crap, I gotta get her because, um, yeah. Anyways, intro time. And I've always felt like my Kamen Rider Zero One Aruto was, I don't know, he felt empty, like he was missing his better half. So now that we have her, let's get her out of her brown shipper box. This is where she comes with, straight from Toku Lectables. Get her out of there. Alrighty. Now I still have an unboxing for Kamen Rider Thouser that I still have to upload, but that will come soon. You can't have Aruto without Isu. And this is awesome. Looks like she comes with some extra accessories for Kamen Rider Zero One as well. So that's always great, Aruto, over there. And yeah, I'm really, really hyped for this figure. Can we just take a minute and admire the box design here? Because all the Kamen Rider Zero One boxes are so in character with their branding from the companies in the show like Zaya, Hidan Intelligence, uh, Zetsu Metsubo Jinrai. It's freaking awesome. I love the box designs with these guys. They're so great and I love the color scheme here for Isu's box. Really nicely done. You got the nice teal green uh, or blue. I don't know. It's a good mixture of both with blacks and whites. Very nice and clean here gotta say you got the heat and logo right there and some promotional shots on the back yes once again fantastic work to machinations on the actual box itself yes uh, she was a pretty penny and that being she was an exclusive not surprising in the slightest all of these Kamen Rider Zero One figures lately have been pretty pricey the only ones that were general releases were Zero One himself and Vulcan over there but uh, yeah it's a small price to pay for salvation considering <laughs> I needed this figure as soon as they announced her and I really do hope they release Azu as well so anyways let's uh, get that out of there set the box aside let's take a quick look at the instructions and I do plan to do a review on her in the near future, I'm just so swamped with other things that a simple unboxing will just have to do for now. So what's great is that she comes with a thumbs up for Zero One as well. And of course his, I forget what it's called, his his sword, the briefcase sword and uh, in its briefcase form. So that's always nice. Now my main thing with this figure is given the scale and the sizing, does she look like well, the actress, Noah Tsurushima. And that's my main thing here. I really don't care too much about engineering in terms of articulation. She's just going to kind of stand there with Aruto on my shelf anyway. So anyways, yeah. You get the thumbs up for Zero One and some extra hands. Of course, she's got her little bike barcode there on her left hand. So that's always nice. They kept that. She's got some clasped hands that she usually just keeps to her side or at her waist and then the briefcase so all right let's get her out i just want to take a quick look at her in this unboxing granted she doesn't really need that much of a review but i do want to do one at some point so let's get her out got some protective plastic there that ooh, slides off real easily i like the detail they did on the huma gear headset there Ooh, i like the work they did on the highlights, the green highlights for her hair. Very nice. So, let me see. I've seen some people get some Isus that look better than others. As you know, it's just a Tamashi thing. They're not all gonna look that great. But, you know, I gotta say, I think I got lucky. Now, one of the biggest concerns for some fans were that the bangs don't drape over the eyebrows. 
for mine is not too noticeable, so I can get away with it. But uh, yeah, this is great looking. Oh my god. Honestly, I think they captured the likeness of Noah pretty damn good. Let's look at the rest of the body. Got her little signature little bow. And God, I miss these characters. You know, I watched Zero One to the end, and I gotta say, probably my favorite now in terms of common writers. Granted, I haven't really watched all of them. I haven't really watched through many of them, actually. I've only watched through, what, three or four? Gotta say, so far, I'm really liking this figure. And yeah, I'm pretty impressed. See how well she stands up on her own. She seems to stand up pretty well. I wanna take a quick glance at her alternate face as well, where she's kinda got like a little smirk going on. I'm just gonna let the accessories fall out. All right. This face looks all right. I don't know. What do you guys think? I gotta see with the bangs. All right, for the alternate head where she's kind of smiling, this was the way I was gonna preferably have her on my shelf, but unfortunately it looks like the face print didn't quite match up with the sculpt. And as you can probably tell, it looks like everything is kind of shifted downwards. The eyes don't quite meet up with the sculpt and the, the brows are a bit lower and it's the lips that are the biggest problem for me. You can probably see the lips don't match up well with the lipstick, quite like the original faceplate. So yeah, big bummer there. I'm pretty disappointed about that. Fortunately, I got tamashi Yeah, that's unfortunate. This faceplate's a dud. Oh man, that sucks. I was really hoping to, um, yeah, I do like how they kept her birthmark there, so that's at least accurate to the actress. But yeah, definitely gonna have to use the regular hat instead of this one. Kinda sucks, but oh well, what can you do? This ended up turning into like a mini review, but it is what it is. So unfortunately, the second faceplate isn't the best in terms of QC issues, but hey, well now I have a five, six inch Nora Tsurashima, so I can't really complain too much, right? She looks great next to Aroto over here. And yeah, I'm happy with this one, uh, despite, you know, issues with the second faceplate, but that's just par for the course with Bandai and Tamashii Nations. Anyways, thanks for watching this unboxing slash, you know, quick mini review. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you want to see an actual review for this one, let me know in the comment section down below. All right, all right, everybody. Collect everything, connect everything. Alrighty then, it's the end of the video. Congratulations if you made it this far. If you enjoyed what you saw, then feel free to hit the like button, maybe subscribe to the channel, and most importantly, comment your thoughts down below. Here, you will also see some links to more content from my channel that just may interest you. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you all very soon.